This tutorial is going to go over exercise 320. So when you're in Blackboard, you're going to click on Unit 3 Assignment A and click here where uh, you need to click your view instructions first, um, print those out if you would like, and then click Start File. From there, a Word document will open up. So at this point, you are going to move on to number two. You want to position the uh, insertion point on the second blank paragraph mark. Now, if your paragraph marks aren't showing, that's what they mean kind of by these backward P. You want to go to your home tab, and in the paragraph group, make sure that your uh, formatting marks is turned on. So they mean um, to put your uh, insertion point right here. At this point they want you to click the insert and do date and time. So you want to click date and time and it's asking you to choose the third item and it's just always good when you're creating letters to update it automatically. Um, this way it'll always change to the date that you're that you're currently working with the document. Okay, at this point, we're on number four. It wants you to press enter four times. One, two, three, four. And it wants you to type in um, the information there. For time's sake, I'm just going to paste it in there. But that's exactly how you want to do it. Then, um, sorry, and I have an extra paragraph there because I uh, pasted in there. But that's how it should look. Um, we are now on number five. At the end of the last paragraph, which is here, this is considered a paragraph even though it's one sentence, you are to press enter twice, you are to type in sincerely, press enter four times, and type in the name Lydia Hamrick, press uh, enter, customer service, to enter twice, and then it wants you to put your initials. The reason why you put your initials is because you show that you actually typed this, but you'll see on number um, six, it wants you to use the autocorrect options. So you'll see kind of that blue line show up. You want to click on that, and you want to click undo automatic capitalization. So now your initials are there. They're always lowercase, and then below that, you are to type enclosure. Okay, now I want you to check the spelling. So to do that, you're just going to go to review and you'll um, hit spelling and grammar, but you know they already do have the red lines in there, so I'll let you do that. And then for number eight, you want to use the thesaurus, so you want to click on the word delighted here. The thesaurus is up here. It'll come up. You can choose a word there. And then you are to save it, and it's telling you to save it in your Lesson 3 folder. You can save your documents wherever you'd like. Um, this is just suggesting that maybe you create a folder for this class. But again, you can do what you would like and how you would like to save it. Thank you.